I want to miss your sports picks. We are the Odds Couple. We come to you from sportsbookreview.com. He's Mike Brenner. I'm Peter Loshak. We're talking with Joe Gavassi from Winning Sports Advice about college basketball that tips on Thursday. Of course, yeah. we're doing this uh, Wednesday afternoon, getting a very early look at these games. We do have uh, some reference lines to look at, and Iowa-Purdue is the last game we're going to talk about. I have what? Iowa as a home dog of seven points right now on the very early opening line, uh, which is just a testament to uh, to really how great uh, Purdue is this year. Uh, yeah, they've got a lot of uh, they've got a couple of big guys uh, down low, and they get great rebounds, and they've been a good bet on the year too. Mike Brenner, nine and five ATS overall. Although in their two uh, true road games on the year, they lost both those ATS. So uh, you know you have to take that into consideration. Of course, and yep, yeah. yeah, Iowa's been uh, the opposite. They've been a bad bet on the year. They're five and eight. Although. Yeah. In their eight uh, home games on the year, four, three, and one ATS. So, okay, uh, not shabby. Yeah, tempting a little bit. I mean, the question here is just how competitive will Iowa be and yeah. how much, how valuable are those seven points? My yeah. guess is, just a guess as of right now, that uh, probably slight percentage play would be Iowa getting the points, but I might okay. be dead wrong. What do you think? Well, I, I don't know about dead wrong, but I yeah. wouldn't jump on there. Now, one thing I think, when I put this into factor, I think which team is making the necessary changes, mm -hmm. which team's making the necessary adjustments to get better. And I don't think Iowa's that team mm -hmm. right Right now, and I saw something you know last time out with Purdue. Whether it was at home or on the road, doesn't matter for me mm -hmm. right now. I see a cohesiveness with that with that group. They trust each other, and they got some big guys in there. I wouldn't be surprised if they go and get this covered. Mm -hmm. But this is one I'm off of personally. But I think Joe Gabassi is going to have something. Yeah, good I mean, for if us. you're just looking at their last game, uh, Purdue uh, had a great game against Wisconsin, yeah. really impressive. And Iowa was a little bit sluggish. They beat uh, Rutgers, but they yeah. didn't cover, and it wasn't a margin win. So, uh, and I don't you think there's be... any any uh, fear whatsoever of them over. Overlooking Iowa because I was right, not right. the team they used to be. So and because they they, they probably want to prove to themselves they can get some quality exactly. games on the exactly. road. But Boom, seven important. points is a hell of a lot of points. Joe Gavassi, winning sports com. What's your take? It's our first qualified home dog revenger of the year. Mm. And we do so in style, backed by the home road dichotomy to which you guys have referred. First meeting out, Purdue did use that powerful interior tandem they have, along with their strong home court, where they're 84 and 54 against the spread under Matt Painter. They beat the Hawkeyes by 22 points as 14-point home favorite. Now the Hawkeyes get a chance to repay the favor on a very strong home court of their own, where under McCaffrey, the Hawkeyes are 58 and 36 against the spread, including 15 and 7 against the spread as home dog. It plays out like this from the terms of situational handicapping. We're looking to play on any quality home dog getting four or more points if they are playing with revenge of more than 20 points and do not come off a double-digit win in their previous game. As you mentioned, Iowa only to beat Rutgers by six in their previous game. Those parameters set up to be an over 75% avenging home dog play over the years and backed by the home road dichotomy of these teams, with Purdue failing to cover either of their two road games, we have a strong situational home dog revenge play on Iowa plus the seven nice. in Thursday action. Makes sense. It does make well, you scratch your head, does, though. When you, when, you, when you look at like the home road dichotomy that he talked about, you know, Purdue, of course, did uh, sure. blow them out at home in the first game. Well, when they go on the road, those guys don't, those tall guys don't get shorter. It's yeah. like, why would they not be able to do it again? But, exactly. but it does matter. The it home does. Court. Yeah. It does matter. And I think coaching plays so much into this. And I think Matt Painter, he's done a great job there. I think he's got the most confident team he's had in a, in a while. And I got a feeling they're going to go in there and get this done because I don't mm -hmm. think what you saw against Rutgers was a fluke. No, this no. Iowa team sure, is sure. definitely inconsistent. I just don't know if they have enough veteran leadership on that mm -hmm. team to say, all right, we're going to grow from that debacle in mm -hmm. Rutgers. You know, we got lucky to pull it out. We got to step up because we got a damn good Purdue team coming in. I think it's going to be the other way around. I think Purdue grabs the momentum based on the big win they had against Wisconsin, mm -hmm. and I think they go in there and go and get it done. I'm going yeah. head-to-head head with right. Jumping yeah. Joe, baby. I mean, as Joe Gavassi uh, mentioned, uh, the number is key. He talked about a home dogs of four yeah. or more. The number yeah. right and now that, is And seven. numbers don't lie, yeah, no we'll doubt see. about it. We'll I think this could be that time, though, Pistol Pete, where the numbers just don't line up for this one. I okay. think Matt Painter just coaches his team up and they get it done. All right. Joe yeah. Gavazzi, thanks for your awesome breakdown and analysis and opinion, of course. So uh, tell us about your website, uh, winningsportsadvice.com. Winning Sports Advice, always available for your perusal. Sporting news okay. that you can use always, along with free articles at Free Picks. Articles such as the defensive duds of the week up there right now. Always something available, including selections to purchase. This has been Joe Gavazzi from Winning Sports Advice. Good luck to you guys out there. Thanks, Joe. Thanks, Joe. Have a great day. Research before you bet. Be sure to check out SPR Picks for the best game predictions, breakdowns, and much, much more.